friends, and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we're going to be trying out some ingenious beauty products. This is the Wonder Wing Eyeliner from Rimmel, and it's supposed to be able to give you the perfect wing tip. So you're supposed to basically like stamp it on. The tip kind of feels like a sponge foam bucket. Can I just say, it smells a bit like alcohol-y. Alright, let's get stamping. Wow, there's really a wing. The stamp, right, is not exactly the cleanest line. So I'm just going to fill it in. Oh, I really do love this. I dare say this is one of the best wing liners I've ever had. Because I can draw my own wing lines, right? But there's just something about the shape of this that's just... Wow, that was really fast. And you know how sometimes like when you draw your wing liner and then you just mess up a little bit, then you have to remove everything and start again. This remo takes away that problem completely. And then if you do it on both your eyes, you will have the exact same wing liner on both eyes. Oh, this is a little bit difficult because it's like my right. Hmm. There we go. Wow, this is really impressive. I was like, oh, do, do you really need something like that? You know what I mean? But like, you put it on and it's like, it makes the cat eye thing so much easier to do. I mean, in terms of angle and stuff, you just need to try a few times to kind of figure out the right angle for you and then it's just every day like the same thing. It's not the cleanest of lines, but it's so easy to kind of like trace it in and it actually went to my bottom waterline quite easily, even though it's a liquid liner. So in terms of the colour, I wouldn't say it's like the blackest of blacks, but it is a pretty solid black. It's not the inkiest. It's slightly watery. It doesn't give you that super defined cat eye, but then it also provides you with a temperature to kind of go over with your other eyeliner and it kind of makes it so much easier because the shape is already there and the shape is actually very nicely done so I would give it a 9 out of 10 because if it was a little bit inkier that would have been really great if the lines on the sides were also like more defined maybe that would also be really wonderful but I think that in terms of the shape in terms of the application it's pretty it's pretty good man so 9 out of 10. So this is a face tape that will allow you to create that V-shape that is all the rage in Korea without the need for surgery. That is quite a lot of tape. I can't help but think that this would be really obvious on your face. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Hey, your face got scotch tape ah. <laughs> Don't knock it till you tried it, right? Okay, let's give this a shot. Everything here is in Korean, so we're going to try and Google translate this. So it identifies all the words that could potentially need translation. And then, I have to highlight them. And once I do that, ta-da! Please wipe skin area to remove the oil. Okay, so first step is to remove the oil and the makeup. So attach part one first, and then pull two parts. I think I got this figured out. Let us try it. All right, so I'll attach one, and then, so now, I will press and hold this, and pull this, and I guess I'll do a gentle lift. Ooh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so how it looks, it actually looks pretty good. Everyone here says my face looks smaller and I can also see it. And it's actually a very natural kind of lift. You do feel like there's tape there, but it's not intrusive. My skin doesn't feel unnaturally tight or anything. And I think for me, the biggest thing is peace of mind because it doesn't feel like it's just gonna pop right off my face. Because you don't want that happening halfway through, right? I can still see a little bit of a crease because, I mean, I guess if you're folding the skin, it's got to go somewhere, right? I'm going to see if I can cover it up. Oh, I think it makes it look even worse. Okay, so I guess you have to experiment with different ways to hide the crease or even the tape. But in terms of comfort level, it's really very comfortable and it works. I'll give this a 9 out of 10 because it was so easy to apply and you can like pull it in many different ways. It's almost invisible, like there's, it's really barely noticeable and you can quite easily cover this with your hair or something. In terms of tape on your face, I would say it's a really quite not obvious. Does it make sense? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's very impressive. I would give this a 9 out of 10. This is the Glitter Flip and it is from Ciate London and it's a matte lipstick that transforms into a glitter lipstick when you just press your lips together. This colour is iconic. It is so glittery. And inside, the colour has like a blue, it's got purple, it's got I think silver flecks in it. Actually, it looks very metallic. Whoa, that is so pigmented. Okay, on my hand, it's kind of like really like midnight blue and I can see some glitter in there already actually. So it looks quite metallic. So I'm wondering how much more glittery it will get. Alright, let's try this out. Oh my god, the colour payoff is incredible. 
just one time and I totally covered everything. Now I'm just going to let this dry and then I'm going to press it together and see how much glitter it reveals. So far, the application is really easy. The colour payoff is great, it's very comfortable and yeah, nothing to not like about it at the moment. Alright, now it's been about one minute. Let's reveal the glitter. Mmm! Mmm! That is really glittery. After I pressed my lips together, a lot more glitter came out. I do feel though, it kind of like stretches out the colour a little bit. I tried this a couple of times and you can sort of see some fading like in the centre of the lip ever so slightly. So then we touched it up and then did it again, but the fading also like came back. Okay, so if that really bothers you, then maybe a lighter colour, it won't be so obvious. When I touch my lips together like that, it kind of feels like a powdered matte finish. So it doesn't feel sticky or anything and it doesn't stretch out my lips, which is great. So, and it doesn't smell weird. So I would give this a 10 out of 10 because it's so beautiful. It's just so surprising, you know, like, I've never even heard of this concept before. I don't ever thought of pressing your lips together and then revealing glitter after that. So that is quite something in a saturated makeup market, right? So I would give this like a 10 out of 10. In fact, I should give this an iconic out of 10. Alright, so these are stockings that apparently don't leather. And we saw the video and they've got like knives and like brushes and fingernails all going past it and no mark at all. So this could be potentially very useful. So this material actually feels quite thick. Not like regular stockings on the video, they actually look very transparent. Nobody really expects stockings to be knife proof, right? I mean it's not an armour or anything. But since they showed it on the video, then we thought why not just give it a shot, right? Okay, so we've already tried the common stuff which is like your fingers, anything that might catch and it's not laddering at all which is great so I'm just gonna oh wow I mean catching is catching but it's not laddering wow that's quite cool all right so now we're gonna push the stocking where probably no stocking has gone before put a plate through it and just see how far we can push this because you know why not <laughs> all right so just for fun let's just see what happens okay I'm seriously really very impressed with this thing because even though it's leaving marks, right, it's not pulling and destroying the entire stocking. I mean, guys, this is a knife. <laughs> like, under what circumstance will a knife be near your leg when you're wearing a stocking? You know what I mean? Okay, maybe a very sharp, like, metal corner, but again, like, it's not gonna go over so many times because when you go over once, like, you know, it won't really catch, but, like... I mean, these are marks, but, you know, we gave it a really hard time. So, under regular... Usage, this stocking I think does seem pretty leather proof and I believe that when you wear it, it'll probably be like this kind of sheerness. I would give this 9 out of 10 because I also still do think that it's usually the very thinnest of the stockings that run the highest risk of leathering and this is quite a lot thicker. So this is a blush from Black Lace and it's supposed to be very interesting because it looks black in the packaging but when you put it on your face, it looks like a cherry colour. Packaging is super pretty. Wow, it really looks completely black. I can see some glitter flecks. Oh wow, that's so cool. How did they do this? But even after I rub it here, like in the packaging, it still looks completely black. So when you put it on your hand, if you take a lot of product, you can see like the blackness, which is strange. But when you spread it out, it becomes more of a cherry colour. So even though it's red, it looks a bit more like a blue undertones or something, which is quite nice. Okay, let's try it on my face. It's quite nice though for real life because it looks more like a flush. Actually, I really quite like this. When I was trying to get like more colour, out so that you guys could see it. As I was doing that, I was like, whoa, the black was a little bit scary. But when you put it on and you blend it out, I feel that it gives a really natural, glowy flush. Because it's so balmy and it's so see-through. So they call it a cream blush, but it kind of feels more like a balm blush to me. <laughs> it doesn't dry like powdery or matte or anything. It still feels like a very thin balm. So the colour is very, very, very natural. So we're talking like, if you have a full face of makeup, this wouldn't work. But if you're going for the supernatural, like belly there kind of flush, I think this is lovely. I kind of wish it was a little bit more buildable. That's, that's the only thing because like it's so natural that it's almost like nothing is there, right? So I would give it a 9 out of 10 because if it was just a little bit more buildable, then it might work better on more skin tones. So this, I am super excited about. This is an electric makeup brush washer. First, you have to fill up this thing with water and detergent. So this is the Morphe brush. 
Sorry, got that wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna stick it into one of these collars. So dip it up and down a few times, and then spin it. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm just trying to keep it in the water. Because you know, you see, once I do this, right, I can see that it's not even touching the water anymore once it goes really fast, because it just spins all the water to the side. And now, dry it. This is so much fun. It's just a little bit damp now. I don't know if this will damage the brush because I mean the force at which is spinning it around, it kind of like changes the shape of the brush. Maybe we try it for this one. So dip, 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 and then spin. Ooh, whoa, whoa. You see how it just like flies open when it's like a circular kind of brush? <laughs> oh, that can't be good for a brush. It looks like your hair when you wake up in the morning. Alright, so now time to dry it. Oh, I feel so scared for this brush. I don't know whether it's gonna survive this. It's like a feather duster now. Wow, look, the shape is just... Oh, okay, okay, that is completely dry and so fluffy. I'm very undecided about this because I love how convenient this is and I love how it dries it out so fast. It really takes a lot of the hassle out of washing your brushes. But I find it a bit strange that it didn't manage to get off all of the foundation and again, there wasn't that much foundation on this. I had gone through like a few rounds. Very torn. A 6 out of 10. Like I think if the option is like not washing your brushes and using this, then I would recommend using this. I wouldn't use it on like super expensive brushes. Undecided. 7 out of 10. 6.5. 7. I don't know. Because I really like how convenient it is, it's so, it's so wonderful. So I guess it really depends on what you need. I really do think it runs the risk of ruining your brushes. Okay, we come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, links are in the description box down below, or you can go to our Facebook page. And if you haven't done so already, you need to... Download the Click Network app, because you can watch the videos one month before they go into YouTube. Till next time, go be beautiful!